Hey guys, Bad Dude 1979 here. Finally got around to uh, making another video, and uh, I think it was time, and I have enough uh, data to uh, make a vid on the uh, Kershaw Camp 14. Make a little review on that knife. So um, here we go. I'm gonna try to keep this short because you guys already seen it in action, and there's been a couple other reviews out there. So uh, I'm just trying to give my two cents and what I think about the knife and uh, what's the benefit of it so so uh, right here is the Kershaw camp the steel, the steel is um, somewhere around 1070, 1075 uh, more, more closely to 1070 uh, carbon steel so um, as you can see there's a little bit of wear and tear on it held, held up fine to uh, the batoning, the chopping test and a little scuff here, you can see a little bit of uh, coating came off. That's normal, so. Cording's not immortal on any knife, so. I'm gonna show you guys the sheet. Here's the sheet, plastic sheet. Really good sheet for the money. I hope knife manufacturer takes a good look at this sheet, drainage hole, and just say, hey, let, they got a good sheet for a good price. Let's do the same thing, you know this is one excellent sheet I haven't tried to wear it on uh, any particular occasion just uh, try to put it on you know on my belt or whatever uh, it's not intended like that personally I, I would rather put in a backpack and just you know bring it along like that or on the side of a backpack but otherwise you know it's a good knife for the price especially for the price it's one of the best buy you can do for large knife slash machete I would tend to say it's more in the order of a large knife because of the thickness at the edge the edge is so thick as you guys can see in my comparison it's one of the thickest knife I own so the uh, the tip on it is excellent the belly the curve it's just a great chopper it's great for batoning the back of the blade here is uh, rather straight a little bit straight so you can just whack on it good it's not like a kukuri or uh, something uh, that's got a more pronounced curve on the blade that, that's harder to hit this is pretty straight up so and with the uh, the length of the blade you can really really whack on it so I really like the fuller here that they, they put to um, take off a little bit well, just a little bit of weight, but it's more aesthetic as well. So, uh, but just give the, the knife a great look. Uh, the only thing is, is the uh, lanyard hole right here. I don't think it was necessary to put that, but you know, it doesn't impede on the performance of the knife one bit. So, full tank construction. Uh, what I like is that the uh, inside the tank here, they just radius every part of the uh, the knife, so it doesn't have any square edges which is perfect because uh, you don't want to put any stress by putting a square a square corner on the knife so uh, if you put square corner uh, square uh, <laughs> I can't speak sorry square corners uh, there might be a chance that it can create a stress point and uh, the knife uh, would be most likely to fail if you were uh, whacking on it good or something you know so especially in batoning or um, stuff like that would I recommend you baton with this knife yes absolutely with the uh, thickness of the blade, I mean, it's just made for that. It's just made for chopping, batoning, woodworking. The edge comes readily close to the uh, to the handle, so you can do some fine work like that. You know, that is just a little. Uh, you know, the edge is just it. It's back just enough. Uh, the steel can take a really good edge. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. The steel can take a really good edge. Uh, right now, after I finished batoning, I took maybe, I would say, uh, 10 to 15 minutes on my work chart, just to, um, I'm going to show you guys on every part of the blade, I'm going to go a little further where I struck with the, uh, the baton here, so, really, yeah, bring it back sharply, and there's no problem for the knife to take an edge back, so, as you guys can see, it's paper shaving, even hair shaving sharp. If I just spend a little five more minutes with the 6000. What I did with a work sharp to bring the edge back, there was a little bit of chipping on the edge. 
just a couple stuff that you know a little bit of edge roll a little bit of micro chipping and uh, to, to bring the edge back all I did was work on with the uh, 240 grain so the brown belt on the work sharp and the 6000 so basically that's all I had to do to bring it back and uh, put the edge back to uh, to extreme sharpness so uh, or uh, paper cutting sharp or hair shaving sharp depending on how you you see it so so overall really great knife uh, would definitely definitely recommend recommend buying it if you're hesitating between this and you know other large knife for the same price point it's not even in the same category you know this knife is is you know this is almost I don't want to say that too loud because you know Kershaw or other did they might be listening so uh, but this knife is worth a lot more than what you pay for right now for the material for the sheet for the design for everything it's worth a whole lot more all right it's manufactured in China so the price can be affordable like that and that's fine I got no problem with that personally you know sometimes when you really want something that's quality you're gonna pay the money for it it's gonna be US produced but if you don't have a lot of money and you just need something to do the job to go out have fun with you know I got no problem with stuff being made in China you know everybody needs to make money and most of the uh, US knife company uh, you know they, they outsource to China anyways if you look at coal steel the entire manufacturing process is in China which uh, at least Kershaw got some um, got some US base uh, manufacturing plant so they can produce some some of the folding knives on the fixed blades and in the US so it doesn't make a difference to me though I'm in Canada so it doesn't matter much but I like US produced knife too you know I bought a couple so uh, but I don't I didn't show in my video yet so but anyways um, this is the uh, Kershaw 1076 camp this the camp 14 I mean it's a great blade looks like a scimitar it's really really sharp uh, you can you can put a great edge on it the carbon steel will rust that's why there's a coating on it and you know that's why oops here we go that's why you put uh, a little bit of oil uh, one thing I noticed I think with carbon steel is if you don't oil the blade is that take that out of the frame right uh, that doesn't matter but uh, one thing I notice is if you leave the knife sitting and you don't oil it because I, I rarely oil my knife I just keep it in an, in an environment that's dry is that it might lose a little bit of its sharpness just sitting there without any oil without any anything on it it's gonna lose just a little tad of its sharpness so when I sharpened this knife it was uh, back on a workshop it was hair popping sharp after the 240 and the 6000 it was you know uh, hair shaving sharp but uh, when I just got it out for the review right now to sit on paper it wasn't as sharp as I um, as I originally sharpened it so just sitting there it's losing a little bit of its sharpness but literally what I did to just make it uh, you know video worthy uh, worthy and the uh, of uh, the sharpness was just put it on a work sharp 6000 on one side 6000 on the other side and that's it that's all needed to be uh, brought back to uh, you know filming quality sharpness so I hope you guys enjoyed this little review if you get any comments question or uh, you know if you want to help me out and give me a little thumbs up that would be appreciated I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, relatively quick review on my uh, Kershaw Camp 14 and uh, see you guys on the next one.